Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. Today we're going to talk about how to create a plot hook. The old, you're sitting in a tavern, has been beaten to death, buried, dug up, reanimated as a corpse, beaten to death again so often that most of your players are going to roll their eyes when you start that hook again. So today I'm going to teach you how to make one specifically to that. Now I personally pride myself on the fact that for the past seven years I have never used a starter hook that started in the tavern. Now there's whole web pages dedicated to the fact that a GM can use to come up with uh, plot hooks to get your campaign started and GMs do have a hard time coming up with the right adventure hook. You might be tempted right now to create your uh, hook before you do anything, but I want to caution you against this. Do not create your hook first, create your maps first, create your dungeon maps first, your overland maps, draw your dungeons and then come up with the hook. In the following video, I will share my tried and true method of creating a plot hook that is unique to your adventure and that doesn't start in the tavern. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you a checklist that you can follow and create your own hooks. So for now, just follow along as I go down my list. The first thing is to pick a starting location. In the back, you see a map of the Caliphate of Sasabui. That's one of my maps. So for now, I'm going to pick Baraka, capital city. Maybe you can pick the last place where your campaign ended for the last adventure. Then I'm going to list three things that exist in Baraka. I choose bazaar, shops, bathhouses. Doesn't matter what you choose as long as it's a place. Now then we look at the hook itself. The hook can happen intentionally or unintentionally. For my example, I'm going to use unintentionally. Then I'm going to set a starting condition, meaning what kicks off the hook. The options are an event, an item, a location, or a person, such as a party member, an NPC, a creature, or a monster. I'm going to choose NPC for this one. Now we have to ask ourselves what motivates our heroes to take the hook. On the screen, you see the most common reasons why D&D players will take a hook. While older D&D games were always motivated by gold and money, and many adventures were literally started by plopping the players in front of the dungeon entrance, and the GM said, oh, here's the entrance to the dungeon, there's money inside, go get it, uh, the game has evolved since its original. For my plot, I'm going to use helping others. Now, then I have to decide if my plot hook is location specific, person specific, or creature specific, event specific, or item specific. Location specific would be if it has something to do with the place the players are in. Person creature specific would have something to do with a person they are meeting. Event specific would deal with an event that takes place or has taken place. Item specific would deal with an item that the players find or carry. For my example, we're going to use two of them since they can be combined. I will use person and I'm going to use item. Let's deal with them one by one. I choose person creature specific. I then go and select non-party member, unknown issue, unknown person, and unknown location. For the second, I choose item specific. In the subgroup, I check off that the location is known, the item properties are known, and the item is benign. Well, what are we going to do with all this stuff, you might ask? If you're not, I'll walk you through it. First, we know that the hook starts in Baraka. Then, among the three things I wrote down, I chose Bazaar, so I know it will start in the Bazaar of Baraka. I also know the party is going to run into an NPC, and I know this happens unintentionally, so they are not looking for that person. 
I also know that the motivation for my group will be to help others. Unintentionally, meaning they run into each other by chance. How about they run into a servant from the palace of the Caliph, who herself is running away from pursuers? Now we come to item specific. Well, what is the item? How about the last will of the late Caliph? It is benign since it's just a piece of paper. Now the person is the specific hook. The servant knows where the real illegitimate son of the caliph lives and asks the players to go and get him so that he can take his rightful place on the throne and get rid of the evil usurper that has taken over the caliphate. And so just like that we have created a plot hook on the fly. I'm going to show you the entire list once again. You can copy and modify that for your own use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. And remember, there's only one RPG Lord. I wish you a good day.